You want to back out of your driveway. You see children playing nearby. Before you start to move your car, you should A. Rev your engine to warn the children that you are moving. B. Sound your horn so the children will hear you. C. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. D. Tell the children to stay away from the driveway. C. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. When you back up a vehicle, look through your back window for pedestrians and other obstacles. Do not rely only on your mirrors, especially when children are near. Before you back into or out of a driveway, get out of the vehicle and check behind your vehicle. Which of the following statements is true? A. A sudden change in weather calls for a change in driving. B. You should slow down when driving in rain and fog. C. Be particularly aware of vehicles coming up behind you in inclement weather. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If the weather changes suddenly, you will need to adjust your driving to adapt. Always slow down when driving in rainy or foggy conditions. Be especially aware of vehicles behind you that may be going too fast for conditions. What are the colors of warning signs indicating upcoming hazards? A. Black letters or symbols on a white background. B. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. C. White letters or symbols on a blue background. D. White letters or symbols on a green background. B. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. Warning signs that indicate approaching hazards are usually yellow with black lettering or symbols. Warning signs in work zones are orange with black lettering or symbols. This sign means A. Do not drink and drive. B. Slippery when wet. C. Road curves ahead. B. Slippery when wet. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns that the roadway is slippery when wet. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may A. Turn in that direction after slowing and checking for traffic. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. C. Turn in that direction after you come to a complete stop. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. A red arrow means, stop. You must remain stopped until a green light or green arrow appears. Do not turn against a red arrow. Roads with double solid yellow line markings down the center indicate that passing is A. Allowed from both directions. B. Allowed only from your direction of travel. C. Not allowed from either direction. C. Not allowed from either direction. A double solid yellow line down the center of a road indicates that traffic is moving in opposite directions and that passing is not allowed from either direction. Which of the following is most likely to be slippery in cold weather after snow or rain? A. A hilly, open road. B. A residential road. C. A road in a shaded area. C. A road in a shaded area. On cold, wet days, shaded spots on a roadway can become icy. Shaded areas often freeze before, and thaw out after, the rest of a road. When approaching a police car, tow truck, or utility vehicle that is parked along the road while displaying its flashing lights, what should you do? 
A. Stop abruptly. B. Continue as usual. C. Change lanes and slow to a reasonable and safe speed as you pass. C. Change lanes and slow to a reasonable and safe speed as you pass. When approaching a stationary police car, tow truck, maintenance vehicle, or any other vehicle that is parked along the road and is displaying flashing lights, you are required to change lanes to give the stopped vehicle space, if possible. If you are unable to change lanes, slow to a safe speed as you pass. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line indicates that A. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the solid yellow line. B. Passing is not permitted from either direction. C. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. C. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means that traffic in the lane next to the broken line may cross the line to pass, while traffic in the lane next to the solid line may not. To enter a freeway? A. Signal, yield to existing traffic, and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. B. Signal and enter the freeway. Freeway traffic must yield. C. Drive slowly so you can check traffic. D. Always come to a complete stop first. A. Signal, yield to existing traffic, and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. When merging into traffic, you should signal and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. Always yield to other traffic when entering a roadway. This sign means A. You can travel in either direction in this lane. B. There is two-way traffic. C. You are approaching a divided highway. B. There is two-way traffic. This sign warns of two-way traffic. This sign means A. Curve ahead. B. Roadwork ahead. C. Merging traffic. D. No left turn. A. Curve ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming curve in the road. What does an orange colored sign indicate? A. The start of a no-passing zone. B. A railroad crossing is ahead. C. A school zone is ahead. D. The presence of construction work. D. The presence of construction work. Construction, maintenance, and emergency operations signs are generally orange with black symbols. Motorcycles, scooters, and mopeds are not easy to see, therefore, you should A. Slow down when driving. B. Make constant visual checks. C. Share a lane with a motorcycle. B. Make constant visual checks. Motorcycles can be easily hidden in a vehicle's blind spot or missed in a quick look due to their small size. Drivers of cars must always be alert and looking for motorcycles, mopeds, and scooters. A flashing red traffic signal at an intersection has the same requirements as A. A slow sign. B. A yield sign. C. A stop sign. D. An intersection sign. C. A stop sign. When approaching a flashing red signal, you must stop and yield to all traffic that does not have to stop. When driving past a vehicle that has just stopped in a parked position on the side of the road, you should A. Assume that the driver will open the car door as you approach. B. Speed up. C. Slam on your brakes.
D. Assume that the driver will wait for you to pass before opening the door. A. Assume that the driver will open the car door as you approach. When passing a vehicle that has just parked parallel to the road, you should assume the driver will open the door as you approach. Use extra caution when driving near parked vehicles. When approaching a school bus stopped with its stop arm extended, drivers should A. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. B. Honk their horn before passing the bus on its left. C. Continue driving when they think most kids are probably done exiting the bus. D. Pass the bus before its door opens. A. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. When approaching a stopped school bus that is using its stop signal, a driver is required to come to a complete stop. They should not proceed until the stop arm is withdrawn. You come to an intersection with a flashing red light. You must A. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. B. Turn either right or left, since the road is blocked ahead. C. Stop at the intersection and wait for a flashing green light. D. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. D. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. A flashing red light means that you must come to a full stop, and then proceed when the way is clear. If you experience a tire blowout, A. Take your foot of the gas. B. Do not immediately use your brakes. C. Gradually slow down and pull off the side of the road. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If you experience a tire blowout, take your foot off the gas pedal and do not immediately apply the brakes. Gradually slow down before gently applying the brakes and pulling off the side of the road. When making a turn, you must fill in the blank. Your speed. A. Increase. B. Maintain. C. Vary. D. Reduce. D. Reduce. When turning, you should reduce to a speed that allows you to maintain control of your vehicle, stay in your lane, and react to unexpected situations. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Look for a train station ahead. B. Signal before going any further. C. Slow down and yield for trains. D. Stop. C. Slow down and yield for trains. This sign indicates that there is a railroad crossing on the road ahead. You should always slow down when approaching a railroad crossing. Trains cannot yield to cars, so you must let them pass before crossing the tracks. Headlights are required when visibility is less than A. 100 feet b. 300 feet. c. 500 feet. c. 500 feet. Iowa law requires drivers to use their headlights from sunset to sunrise. Headlights must also be used at any other time when visibility is limited to 500 feet or less. A leaky exhaust system in your vehicle is dangerous because it can cause A. A loss of hearing. B. Pollution. C. Carbon monoxide poisoning. D. Poor engine performance. C. Carbon monoxide poisoning. The exhaust system carries exhaust gas out of the vehicle and prevents fumes from entering into the passenger compartment. To prevent carbon monoxide poisoning, keep your exhaust system free of leaks. Replace all defective parts immediately. This road sign means A. 
Sharp turn to the right. B. Double curve. C. Winding road. D. Pavement ends. C. Winding road. This sign indicates that the road ahead winds with a series of turns or curves. Highway hypnosis, is a driving condition that can result from a. Staring at the roadway for long periods of time. b. Frequent rest stops. c. Too much sleep the night before your trip. d. Short trips on expressways. a. Staring at the roadway for long periods of time. Highway hypnosis, happens when you stare straight ahead at the roadway for long periods of time and stop actively scanning ahead, behind, and around your vehicle. This can lead you to zone out, making you very likely to crash into traffic slowing or stopping ahead of you. If you drink alcohol socially, what helps ensure safe driving? A. Drink coffee before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. C. Take a cold shower before driving. D. Stop drinking one half hour before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. One strategy to avoid driving while impaired or intoxicated is to arrange for a ride home with a friend who does not drink. Drinking coffee or taking a cold shower cannot reduce your blood alcohol content or reduce the effects of alcohol. On average, it takes about an hour for the body to eliminate the alcohol from a single drink. This sign shows one type of A. Intersection B. Road curve C. Right turn A. Intersection Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers that another road crosses the highway ahead. Drivers turning left must yield to A. Overtaking cars. B. Oncoming cars. C. No one. B. Oncoming cars. Drivers turning left must yield to oncoming vehicles that are driving straight ahead. A turning driver may only proceed when they can safely turn without affecting oncoming traffic. What does a single dashed yellow line separating traffic mean? A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. B. Both lanes travel in the same direction. C. Drivers may not pass. D. Drivers may pass, even if it could be dangerous. A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. Yellow lines separate traffic moving in opposite directions. A single dashed yellow line in the center of a road indicates that vehicles traveling in both directions are permitted to pass. Drivers may only begin a pass if they will not interfere with any oncoming traffic. To prevent yourself from becoming an aggressive driver? A. Relax and concentrate on driving. B. Drive above the posted speed limit. C. Tailgate the driver in front of you. A. Relax and concentrate on driving. To prevent yourself from becoming an aggressive driver, concentrate on driving and don't take the actions of other drivers personally. Be realistic about your travel time, drive within posted speed limits, and be forgiving of other drivers using the roadway. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line indicates that passing is A. Permitted from the side next to the solid yellow line. B. Not permitted from either direction. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. 
When the center of the road is marked by a solid yellow line beside a broken yellow line, passing is permitted from the side next to the broken line and prohibited from the side next to the solid line. In traffic moving at 50 to 55 miles per hour, you are least likely to have an accident if you a. Drive a few miles per hour faster than most other vehicles. b. Stay within that speed range. c. Drive a few miles per hour slower than most other vehicles. b. Stay within that speed range. You should adjust your speed to travel smoothly with the other traffic on a roadway, provided that the other traffic is driving within the posted speed limits. Remember that vehicles moving in the same direction at the same speed cannot hit each other. Crashes involving multiple vehicles often happen when some vehicles are traveling at different speeds than others. A steady green traffic light at an intersection means a. Increase your speed. b. Adjust your mirrors. c. You may continue through the intersection at a safe and reasonable speed, if it is clear to do so. c. You may continue through the intersection at a safe and reasonable speed, if it is clear to do so. A steady green traffic light indicates that the driver may continue through the intersection. The driver should yield to traffic or pedestrians already in the intersection and proceed when the intersection is clear. This sign means A. Divided highway B. Railroad warning C. No passing zone A. Divided highway This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. If your car becomes disabled while on the highway, you should A. Stop in the right lane. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. C. Stop where you are.